Karen must have seen something strange because its mouth is hanging open. I wonder why you saw that was strange. Hey everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu. Last time, we explored Route 14 and Route 14 15, found more trainers, and caught a couple of new Pokemon. And currently, we are in Fusa City, which we will be exploring in today's episode. Now, if you're wondering, did I catch the a Scyther? Uh, where is he? I wanted to be all surprised and so that I got a Scyther. I still have him. Oh yeah, there he is. He, he must have been too big to be in the Pokemon Center. Tomar is looking around restlessly. <laughs> yeah, but I found a Scyther. And because the first one had a bad nature, I kept, I kept catching more until I found this particular one. Naughty nature, somewhat stubborn, which means it has more attack at the cost of less special defense. And it has good IVs in attack, which is which is what I wanted. I give it U-turn and roost, and it also knows air slash and in slash. Unfortunately, I don't have a physical flying type attack on Toma for now, but I'm happy that he's part of the team finally. Yep, uh, Toma is number five. So my team, my permanent team, is almost complete. I also trained up Toma, thanks to all the Chansey and Tauros I caught. I should tell you, uh, there was one Tauros that I caught that was huge, and when I caught it on the first Ultra Bar and got an excellent throw, it, it gave me 13 times the amount of experience you normally get from a Tauros, which was insane. Like, that got a lot of levels on my Pokemon. At least the Pokemon on B t on Team B. The Spire Zone has the playful park out in front. Up back is the, the Go Park Complex. Hmm. Uh, hi there. Hmm? You've met Bill. He's my grandson. He always likes rare things, even as a child. Oh, nice to meet you. A warner with false teeth, huh? Maybe we'll, we'll meet him. Here's where the gym is. Fusa City Gym. Leader Koga, the poisonous ninja master. Hey, I've got a ninja with me too. Toma the Praying Mantis Ninja. Anyway, this is the home of the Safari Zone Warden. Let's pop in and say hi. Hello? Huh? It's a... I lost my toss and was there. First help me find. First help me. I. Yeah. Ah, oh, how dear home pool. Ah, so just what's in the dish? Uh, I don't know what he just said, but we better help him. Help him find his teeth. Pokemon fossils and rare stones on display. And a, and a stone pillar, for some reason. Oh, hi there. Hmm, this is this is not an information got out of the spot. Yep, I caught a shiny Pokemon, actually. Aha! Catching the same species multiple times makes it more likely you'll get items from them. Too bad it's really hard to consistently throw a Pokeball to get an excellent, and the RNG is so inconsistent that you won't even get it on the first throw, oh, even with an excellent, 
And then ultra ball, because the game likes to laugh at you and say no. And that makes it such a pain of EXP grind. Uh, enough of my complaining. Let's check out a little more Fusa City. Oh. Are you, Sarah? Question. Uh, this is how we get around to the gym of the Pokemon Center. Very inconvenient. That way is the next route, but we're not gonna go that way. Instead, we're gonna go up here. Now, if you didn't see it in the previous episode, when you first get here, Pikachu will play with all these Pokemon. There's Slowpoke, there's Chansey. Let's go out with Vulpix. There's Voltorb hiding there. Norb. And that Pokemon over there. Were you wait were you wanting that? Well so was I! Huh? That's actually a Pokemon? What a surprise! Mama! <laughs> oh, I gotta do this. Kangaskhan! Oh, uh, Hana's looking relieved. Oh, uh, probably because of how, uh, safe this area is. Alright, let's take Toma out of the ball again, so we can keep exploring. Although, this is a pretty small city, there's not much to, to check out. Oh, hi there! This Lapras is getting on in age, but it's still a real beauty, wouldn't you say? We used to ride on waves and travel the whole wide world together. Lapras can't swim like it used to, so we'll stay here together. Thank you for listening. As thanks, I'll teach you the secret technique Sea Skim. With this technique, you can travel on water! <laughs> Your Pikachu wants to learn it as well? I'm not sure if we can learn it. It's not water type. You look determined, just like my Lapras. Okay, I'll teach you the technique then. Now you have to keep balance on the water. Lower the center of gravity and keep balance with your upper body. Karen learned the secret technique, Sea Skim. You did great. I'll give you that board too. Ride waves and travel the whole ride world together? We will, thank you! So we finally know how to surf! Lord Helix, now we can surf the waters with Pikachu and look for water Pokemon living in the waters and explore new areas that we couldn't explore before. Huh, no new item. Tell you what, since Fusa City is so small, I'll go to some old past areas and do some swimming. That way we can uh, find some new stuff. Uh, I had two more buildings to look at. We nicknamed the warden Slowpoke. He has that vacant look like a Slowpoke. <laughs> Funny. Oh, check it out! Posters of Kangas calling and Tauros! I love them. He lost his teeth, man! We're just gonna wander around then and see if we can find his teeth. I'll check out that building later. Anyway, uh, the answer to where... Ugh, so inconvenient. 
The answer to where his teeth are is hidden south of here. Huh? We heard there were loads of rare Pokemon in that Go Park place, so we came to check it out for ourselves. But it was so complicated, app this and connectivity that, it was so creepy we had to get out of there. Why can't I just trip over a get rich quick scream already? Hmm? Feels like I just kicked something really hard. Could it be some kind of treasure? I lost a big score, let's see what it is. Heave ho! Wow, just look at that sign! This must be some amazing treasure! As if! Yuck! What are these? Some kind of gold teeth? D teeth No matter how gold they are, some things just aren't worth the effort. Huh! It's the twerp! What are you doing here? Never mind that! Take these off our hands! You had a pair of gold teeth thrust upon you! We're busy, so you take care of whatever those are of for us. That's right! Now's the time for a fantastic getaway! See ya! Could Karen be a little tired out? <laughs> yeah, I'm tired of their shenanigans too. Looks like this might be what the warden is looking for, so let's go in here and give it to him. He gave the gold teeth to the warden. The warden popped in his teeth. Yuck, they're all sand sandy and gritty. Anyway, thanks, son. You're a real lifesaver. No one could understand a word that I said, not a one. I was too ashamed to sew my face around the office, even. Let me give you something for your trouble. We got a safari set from the warden. And here, I'll teach you something neat. A secret technique called Strong Push. What's that, Sonny? You'd rather have your Pokemon learn the secret technique? Well, I suppose it makes no difference to me. Now come this way and have a look. You sometimes find big blocks like this one in caves and other such places, right? You can push them around if you take a moment to gather up your strength first. The trick is this. Huh? You grind your teeth as hard as you can! If you've got them, then I'll at once just let it rip! Yeah! Karen learned a secret technique, Strong Purse! Hooey! Look at that! Learning Strong Purse in just one go! Your Pikachu is a clever one, Sonny! Thank you! <laughs> I love imagining that the warden here is secretly a, a, a power lifter, being able to lift and push blocks as heavy as him. And now we have the power to. Push blocks? Dig? A Diglett had a nugget and gave it to us! That's it? Um... Can I go through there? Let Dig Dig... <laughs> you funny. Oh, you know what? I just had an idea. Let's walk out here. And see this body of water? Oh. We could swim in it in past games. I guess not in this one. Oh well. Anyway. Now that we've helped the warden out, what do you say we check out the park up ahead? The gold park complex ahead. Pokemon Chase, it's the famous herding game that everyone loves. Yeah, uh, the Safari Zone is gone, and, and in the original games, you look for the Warden's teeth in the Safari Zone. But I like how they just give us the golden teeth by going to the beach where Team Rocket is. That's better than just hiding the teeth with the chance of people not ever finding them. So anyway, whoa, hey! 
Look, some Pokemon we haven't seen yet. Oh, and a bunch of Pikachu. And these two? That reminds me of something. Uh, anyway, uh, at the Go Complex, this is where you get at your connectivity with the Pokemon Go app. I like that place the music too. Welcome to the Go Park Complex. What do you what do you like to do? So let's hear the explanations. Uh, about bringing Pokemon. You can bring your Pokemon from Pokemon Go to Go Park. Go to options in the main menu and select opening Pokemon Go settings. You can pair your game with a Pokemon Go account. Then you select the Pokemon you want to send. Once you bring a Pokemon to Go, it cannot be sent back to Pokemon Go. Like you will find the Pokemon brought from Pokemon Go playing in the Go Park. Speak to the Pokemon to try and catch it, or to move it to a different Go Park. Once you catch it, you won't be able to return it to a Go Park. Alright. Now the Play Yard. If you have 25 of the same species of Pokemon, you will be able to use the play yard. Guide your Pokemon to the goal at the top of the yard. If you're able to guide all your Pokemon to the goal within the time limit, you win. Be careful of the Pokemon that pop up on the ground though, they can get in your way. Uh, yeah, thanks. Now, um, hmm. I, I might as well check my Pokemon Go app and see if there's a certain Pokemon I want to bring to... Uh, the game. Or if I have 25 of one Pokemon that I can bring for that game. Yeah, there wasn't any Pokemon that I was I was interested in bringing into the game. What I have a match have that 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 was very tempting to bring over, but I'm gonna resist. Anyway, um, that's all of Fusa City. So, you know what? Let's do it. I'm gonna go back to some old areas and do and use C scan to see if I can get some new stuff. So, what do you say we start from the from the beginning and go to Viridian City? Alright, here we are back in Viridian City, and there is a patch of water here that I can surf on. You see, skin? Yes. Now, if we swim around oh, for a little bit and see if some... Maybe some Pokemon will appear that I can catch. Hopefully. Unless, it, unless th this is too small for me to... Come on. You know what, it's fine. I can go somewhere else and nearby and see skim. Now, here's a tree for us to chop down. So we can talk to this guy. What? I must have dozed off in the sun. I had this weird dream. I lost, I lost spirit became in a flame and was floating around. What is with this visual effect? I don't like it. Huh? Seems I picked up this TM without realizing it. Oh, that's creepy. I better give it to you. Don't throw the curse on me! Well, Wisp. Well, this is a ghost type attack that has a chance of inflicting a burn on a Pokemon. None of my Pokemon can learn it, so I have no use for it. Now then, we're gonna go back to Route 22. Because I'm pretty sure, yep, there's some water I can see skim on. And it's bigger than, and, than the other one. Maybe I'll find some Pokemon here. Come on.
Kira looks like it's feeling woozy from all the swimming. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, look at that! We have every secret technique now! Uh, you want? Know Let's go somewhere else. Toma found something that was dropped in the flower bed. What a pretty wing! Thank you! Anyway, there's a, a bunch of water on this route, so maybe I'll find some new Pokemon here. Let's surf! There's a guy blocking a mysterious cave. I wonder where Eren leads. We probably cannot check it out for- WHOA! Okay, here come the Pokémon! A tentacle? Wow! What? A level 10 tentacle?! What? What? I'll catch you, but you probably won't give me a lot of experience. Wow, a tentacruel! A level 10 tentacruel! Only in, in Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee! Yep, you you give a quite a ton of experience. At least we'll have your Pokedex entry. Uh, the Jellyfish Pokemon. Its any tentacles get stretched and contract freely. They wrap around prey and weaken, weaken it with poison. Ooh. And there's some Magikarp flopping around. I already have a Magikarp, so I don't really need to catch him. Oh, there's Tentacle here too! Kind of strange that these Jellyfish Pokemon are, are seen here in... Freshwater, not uh, saltwater? Well, I got it. Oh, shoot, I got distracted and and did not read the Pokedex entry. It can sometimes be found all dry and swiveled up on the beach. Toss it back into the sea to revive it. Oh. You know what? I'm gonna check... Polyrite's habitat. Oh! I need, I need to go further to the right to find Polyrite. I'm gonna do that. Just in case you forgot, you can find Thunder Wave here by this camper. Oh, I knew what? What? Oh, there it is! Finally, you, you, a doable tadpole. Holy rag! This is a great ball. I, I love this Pokemon. Pokemon, stay in the ball. Yes. Awesome. Holy rag! The direction of the spiral on its belly differs by area. It is more adept at swimming than walking. And yet, it's still doing its best, despite having no arms at all. I'm gonna take a look, look at this polyrag real quick. Lots of nature. Not the most ideal nature. But we caught it! 
And now you know, you can get Polymark at this point in the game just after getting Sea Skim. As for Polywool, uh, you'll have a. not a, as common of a chance to get Polywag. Uh, anyway, let's. let's return to exploring some more areas now that we can use Sea Skim. I'm gonna. Oh, yeah! There's an item on Route 12 that I can get now that I have Sea Skim. Here we go again, swimming on the water and- <gasps> No way! Seizure! Level 37 and it's ready for- and it's ready for battle! I guess it's- you use Ultra Balls and a Raspberry to make it easy to catch this thing. So Seizure is the evolved form of Horsey. It's a, it's a really cool seahorse Pokemon, and it's a good Pokemon. Oops, who we want you? Okay, the cameras are weird now. Come on, I, I want to throw it straight. It's honestly a better Pokemon with abilities with the ability Sniper, but Siege was still a good Pokemon if you're in need of a Water type. Heck, I may just use Siege over Blastoise now. Now, oh, whenever if I ever need a Water type. Anyway, Siege, the Dragon Pokemon, touching the back fin causes numbness. It hooks its tail to coal, coal to it, its tail to coal to stay in place while sleeping. Yeah, see, dragon Pokemon. It may not be part dragon now, but but as a Kingdra, it gains the uh, the dragon typing. Anyway, I'm gonna look at, at its summary. Bashful nature. Neutral. Very good attack and very good speed! Uh, I wish it had very good special attack, but that that high IV and speed is nice. Hmm. Hmm. If I found seeds right here, maybe I'll find Horsey too. Yep, there it is! It's adorable! A wild horsey! I guess I don't need to say much about horsey since I just talked about Seedra. It's kind of funny that twice in this video I... Oh, don't be that way. Twice in this video I caught the evolved form of a base Pokemon first. Yeah, I caught it. It couldn't go to level 42. Two levels away from the level limit, so I better chill out with the catching. Uh, Horsey, the dragon Pokemon! If it senses any danger, it will vigorously spray water or a special type of ink from its mouth. Horsey is the kind of Pokemon I would love to keep for a pet. That and, uh... That and a Pidgey. Uh, you know what? I want to catch this tiny... I want to catch this tiny Seedra. But before I do that... I'll... I'll give this Taurus the experience. Oh, 
modest nature likes to run? Oh. Oh. Ho, ho. Welcome to the family. I need to give Cedra a nickname later. But for now, let's continue on our little little detour to collect the items we haven't gotten yet. Tier 24? Awesome! X Scissor! That is immediately... I am immediately teaching that out to... to Toma. Oh, and for that matter, Sand Slash. Uh... Man, I like U-Turn's utility, though. Yeah, let's give it a Slash. Awesome! I taught Sanslas and uh, and Scyther X Scissor. Now we're gonna. I, come on, don't do that. I'm gonna explore this round a little more, and if I don't find anything else, we'll move on to the next location. I'm now back in Vermilion City. So. Remember that hidden item that I discovered that Pikachu found but we could never get because it was behind this guy? Well, now we can get it. It was a big pearl. Cool. Alright. I'm doing some thinking and uh, let's go back to Seldon City. Down here, there was just there was just uh, a man standing on the other side of the water. And now that we can see Skim, we can say hi to him. Hello there. I've been watching you walk past me this whole time, and I was hoping you'd come visit me someday. I was really lonely. Why did I make a pond right in front of my house? Just going for a walk is troublesome. I was so short-sighted when I was young. I was so stupid, stupid, stupid. Baka, baka, baka. I was such a baka. Sorry for my talks of venting, but I feel better now, so I'll give you a TM! <laughs> Poison jab! Hmm... Now that is an awesome move! You saw, uh... Uh... Zinger, my beetle, use it. And now we'll see if my current team can learn it. Uh, I think I passed it. Here it is, uh, Harp can learn it. I love that Sandslash has such a diverse move pool. Alright, uh, that about wraps up the detour of exploring places now that we have Sea Skim. Okay, listen. I'm aware of the power plant and using C scan to get there. I am not going to go there immediately. I want my team to be a little a little stronger before we get to, to the power plant. Because there is something specific that makes it in our way that we are not strong enough to fight yet. So the power plant will be on the back of my mind for now. So I'm gonna fly back to Friusa City and and end the video here. Next time on Pokemon, 
We're going to take on the gym leader Koga. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.